Hi, I'm Larissa with ID8 TV, and we are here at the CFA Malibu Cat Show, here to find out why people choose cats over any other pet. When my husband and I first got together, we lived in an apartment, and I kept telling him, I want a dog, I want a dog. He goes, because I was grown up with dogs, and I never knew anyone in my life that even had a cat. And he says, well, you know, you live in an apartment, you really can't have a dog, and you got to walk the dog, and you're going to want to walk the... He says, get a cat. And I'm like, a cat? I don't know what to do with a cat. I have no idea. So we, our first two cats, he got a black cat named Felix, and I took a white cat named Shana Putum, and in Yiddish, that means pretty face. And so I didn't know anything about cats, and he bought me a subscription to Cat Fancy magazine, which I don't even think is around anymore. I read that thing from cover to cover, and then all of a sudden there was an ad about you know all these different um, uh, merchandise, and I'm like, I could do that. And so I talked to my uncle who was in the jewelry business, and I started with this little gold tray of 14 karat gold cat charms, wow. really tiny. And then I see there's all these cat shows, and I called to find out, well, what do you do at a cat show? And one thing led to another, and I became a vendor, wow. and I started showing my cats. Then I got into purebreds, and it's been 35 years. I'm actually a dog person. Oh, yeah. I married into this. Um, he actually bought me a dog to keep me around. <laughs> But uh, they're a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, they become a lot of fun doing this. So Awesome. And very sweet. And obviously cats decide who they like because I spent the entire night with four of them on top of me in bed. Not bad for the dog person, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's not very often you can get a dog person to like cats, you know? Well, and I don't know why, because a lot of cats are very dog-like. And, you know, I know that sounds stupid, but... You could teach them just like you can a dog, and they, quite honestly, they a lot smarter in my opinion, and I love dogs, but to me, cats are just way more intelligent, so. Wow, really? Mm -hmm. Little buggers can get into things and get out of things oh, yeah. in ways you'd never imagine. In yeah. fact, you're shocked when you find out how they do it. It's like, you know, dog in the same situation, would just sit there, bark, howl, and wait for you to come pick them out. Yeah. Cats are like, okay, I'm pissed now, but I am getting out. <laughs> you know? yeah. So, Cats are just so cool. They're independent, and I've always wanted a cat because they just, they're, you have to earn their love and respect. That's what makes them so special to me. So I had to, like, work for this. I have always wondered like why cats because you know they have that stereotype that they're really independent and like not cuddly but yours are yeah. nice yeah um, I mean sometimes they can be they like their space but they're very friendly and they're they're cuddly when they're like tired yeah, when they want. yeah. but they're cats are really good animals and they're like they're like a dog sometimes, like my cat plays fetch, so it's like, why do I need a dog when I got a cat? <laughs> all, of the, all of them come from a 40 cat colony in West LA, so I'm currently trapping everybody, getting everyone fixed um, and trying to find them a home. The ones that are older or really feral, unfortunately, I have to release. But these babies here are all going to find a home, hopefully. Um, but they were in pretty poor conditions and, um, you know, they had to be um, cared for, some were bottle fed. So they're very, um, very much into humans, very affectionate and um, I'm very attached. But hopefully I will find them a home. I'm hoping to actually place them two by two because they're very bonded. Um, but they are very healthy now. They were at first covered with fleas and worms, so very anemic. Yeah. Uh, some had eyes issues. We thought uh, they were going to lose their eyes. But if you look at them, they're all beautiful and uh, healthy and uh, waiting for a good home.
Mia here um, was found in Rancho Cucamonga and her owner was didn't decided she didn't want a cat anymore so he was going to euthanize her because she didn't want her anymore which is never the answer always recommend um, posting on different groups social media trying to find a home if all else look at your local rescues and shelters so one of our amazing fosters um, they found out about it they took her into their home and she is ever since been in a loving home fostered and as you could tell very talkative ready to say hi to you so she's here today looking for a forever home that understands that owning a pet is a lifelong commitment and she's very very excited to meet her family <laughs> she's going to interview you as you can tell <laughs> and make sure you're ready to I'm so glad she was rescued. That's yeah. crazy that someone would just be like, oh yeah, I'm going to euthanize my cat because I don't want her anymore. Like, we get stories like that all the time. Uh, we, we get tagged on different social media saying, hey, this cat, the owner passed away. The family didn't want to deal with the cat or didn't want to take the cat in. So they put the cat outside and it's never been outside its entire life. Um, we've had a couple of cases like that and the cats have actually been declawed and they're seniors so they have no way to protect themselves. So definitely looking at your local rescue groups and um, <laughs> your humane societies and asking for help.